Yo guys this is Aprix here and this video is dedicated to all the Poké fans who have subscribed to my channel as in today's video I'll be telling you guys 3 to 4 tips which you can use to get better FPS while playing Pokemon Sword on Skyline Emulator. Not only that but towards the end of this video I'll be telling you guys the best settings which I am using to emulate Pokemon Sword on this Skyline latest build. And let me tell you guys something that if you own a device with Mali GPU for example Android device with processors like MediaTek Exynos or Kirin then let me tell you guys that you will need to get the skyline edge subscription for superior performance than the normal skyline emulator now as you know skyline edge is basically the paid version of skyline emulator but don't worry though i'll be telling you guys the tips for people who use the normal version of skyline emulator as well and this gameplay is also being recorded on normal version of skyline as i also haven't bought a subscription of skyline edge but if you want additional uh, upcoming features and also very greater performance while emulating games then you gotta go for the Skyline Edge subscription and this is only for those who have MediaTek Exynos uh, processors for people who have Snapdragon processor you really don't need to worry other than this texture issue which you see right here so sometimes when you try playing Pokemon Sword you will get these golden textures you feel like you are in heaven even though you are not worthy of going into heaven but still to fix this what you will need to do is just simply restart your game and while benchmarking this game uh, I had disabled the frame throttling option that's why you will see my FPS bar in blue color instead of yellow color. By disabling the frame throttle option I can go over 60 FPS in any Nintendo Switch game which I want to try out in Skyline emulator and just benchmark the performance of emulator as well as my device itself and see if any one of those lag or freeze or something like that or even crash so yeah this is really cool for benchmarking but let me tell you guys something if you disable frame throttle then you have a higher chances of your game getting frozen or crashing so i would recommend you guys if you want to play as a casual gamer just to try and complete a game then i would recommend you guys disable the frame throttling option don't tick mark it okay untick the disable frame throttle option uh, when i say disable frame throttling option you will <laughs> enable that option because it's called disable frame throttling so yeah don't enable the disable frame throttling option is what i want to say if you know what i mean so if you don't do that then your game will not crash your game will not freeze so that's one of the best things which you can uh, try out in skyline emulator currently it is very stable for games like super mario odyssey and pokemon sword uh, and if I was being completely honest, if you face any texture issues like golden textures uh, we saw before, uh, you just have to restart your game and it will be fixed because in this beginning area, at the beginning, I was getting golden textures. I restarted my game and everything is working out fine. And another advice which I would give you guys if you want to play this game at better FPS is that just explore around. Even if you get low FPS, don't close out the game, don't try some settings, just don't get disappointed too soon. Because the shaders are being compiled, you will experience a lot of frame drops. But once the frame drops are over, your game will be smooth again. But Keep on exploring the world so the Skyline emulator can render more shader, compile more shaders and the next time you play it there won't be any kind of lag okay. It's just like one time uh, work which you need to do for example if you have a favorite Pokemon while starting out in uh, Pokemon Sword in Skyline emulator make sure that you disable this in game option by pressing the X button on Skyline controls then scroll down to the options bar. Afterwards, you just have to disable the battle effects. This will be default uh, by default turned on. Just disable it, press on the A button and save the settings. Uh, through this, your battles won't lag in Skyline Emulator. So, usually during any kind of Pokemon battle in Pokemon games, uh, the FPS which you get in Skyline is higher compared to the open world things which we are doing right now. But there are a lot of frame drops when you choose your attacking move because it basically has an effect. Every attacking move has an effect. And uh, for Skyline Emulator to render those shaders, it's very brutal for it. Uh, that's why your game will lag a lot during battles and there will be a frame drop. So, just uh, disable battle effects from option this will fix your lag and that's how uh, you can improve gameplay experience while emulating pokemon sword now let me talk about the best settings or the settings which i am using while emulating pokemon sword and skyline emulator so here are the screenshots i am using dock mode enabled so that i can get crispier texture you can disable dock mode if you want worse graphics but few more fps in some cases so you can try that out and let me know in the comment section down below also comment down below which device are you using and trying to emulate pokemon sword on it other than that i have set slot executor count at 16 
and that's all the best settings which I'm using. Texture readback hack is enabled. So those are all the settings which I'm using while emulating Pokemon Sword on Skyline emulator. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.